Not so long ago, our solar system was little more than a hazy mystery. The planets appeared as faint, distant specks in the darkness. We could only imagine what secrets swirled within Jupiter's stormy clouds, or what wonders might be hidden beneath Saturn's shimmering rings. To uncover these mysteries we had to venture out there ourselves, that ambition gave birth to the Voyager mission, inspired by a once-in-a-lifetime planetary alignment. The outer giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, would soon align, letting us hurl a spacecraft from one to the next, using their gravity. It was like a cosmic billiards match, making a grand tour of the outer planets possible within a single human lifetime. So we built two robotic pioneers, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. In 1977 they blasted off, equipped with instruments to probe particles, magnetic fields, and to capture the very first close-up images of distant worlds. Their mission, to turn the gas giants from vague ideas into real breathtaking places. The Voyagers marked humanity's boldest step into the unknown, forever changing how we see our solar system. We sent them forth, two tiny messengers breaking free from the sun's grasp. Their first mission, to explore the mysterious outer planets, but their ultimate fate was to become the first creations of humanity to journey beyond our solar system. Their odyssey is our own, a tale of discovery written across the endless expanse of space and time. Voyager 1's first stop was Jupiter. In 1979, it sent back images that stunned the world. Jupiter was revealed as a dynamic world of swirling storms with the Great Red Spot, a hurricane larger than Earth, raging for centuries. But the real surprises were on its moons. Io's active volcanoes spewing sulfur into space were a first outside Earth. Next, Saturn's rings were shown to be thousands of ringlets, shaped by tiny moons, far more complex than we imagined. Titan, Saturn's largest moon, was found to have a thick, nitrogen-rich atmosphere, hinting at hidden chemistry and mystery. Voyager 2 pressed on, reaching Uranus in 1986, a planet tipped on its side, with a bizarrely tilted magnetic field and a host of new moons and rings. Uranus became a world with a dramatic history, shaped by ancient impacts. In 1989, Voyager 2 reached Neptune, discovering the Great Dark Spot, a massive storm, and supersonic winds, the fastest in the solar system. Neptune's moon Triton was found to be geologically active, with geysers of nitrogen ice erupting from its surface. Voyager rewrote the textbooks, revealing that even the coldest, most distant worlds are alive with activity. The outer solar system was no longer a static, frozen realm, it was dynamic, surprising, and full of wonder. Each encounter transformed distant dots into real, complex worlds. Voyager's postcards changed how we see our place in the cosmos. The Voyager team knew these spacecraft would journey far beyond the planets, into the galaxy itself. This was a chance to send a message to the cosmos, the golden record. Led by Carl Sagan, a team created a gold-plated copper disc designed to last a billion years in space. It holds 115 images and sounds of Earth, greetings in 55 languages, the music of Bach and Chuck Berry, the sounds of wind, rain, and whales. The golden record is a snapshot of humanity, a symbol of hope and curiosity. Its real audience is us. It forced us to consider how to represent all of humanity in a single object. The odds of it being found by aliens are tiny, but the act of sending it is a testament to our desire to be known. It's a message to the stars, and a reminder to ourselves of our shared world. The golden record is both a greeting and a mirror, reflecting our hopes and our place in the universe. It's a message in a bottle, cast into the cosmic ocean. After Neptune, the Voyagers began their long journey to the edge of the solar system. Their new mission explore the heliosphere, the bubble of charged particles blown by the solar wind. Beyond this bubble lies interstellar space, the realm between the stars. The boundary called the heliopause, marks where the solar wind is stopped by the interstellar medium. In 2012, Voyager 1 crossed this boundary, detected by a sudden drop in solar particles and a spike in cosmic rays. It was a quiet but historic moment, humanity had entered interstellar space. Voyager 2 followed in 2018 confirming the achievement and providing new data. These spacecraft became our scouts in the interstellar void. Their crossing was not just technical, it was deeply symbolic. We had built something that could outlast us, carrying our legacy into the galaxy. The Voyagers left the nest, venturing where no human-made object had gone before. Their journey across the heliopause marked a new chapter in exploration. 
As Voyager 1 ventured deeper into interstellar space, its instruments detected something unexpected, a persistent, low-frequency hum. The plasma wave system picked up vibrations in the interstellar plasma, a steady drone that began after crossing the heliopause. Scientists had expected silence but instead found the galaxy itself was humming. The source of this hum remains a mystery, perhaps thermally excited plasma waves or something more exotic. It's not a message from aliens but a fundamental sound of the universe's background state. This discovery is a reminder of how little we know about the galaxy we inhabit. The hum is unsettling, a constant cosmic note we never knew existed. Voyager revealed that the silence of space is not silent at all. The universe is alive with energy even in its darkest corners. This steady drone is perhaps Voyager's most haunting discovery. It's the sound of the cosmos itself, a secret only revealed by venturing far enough to listen. Voyager 1, now over 15 billion miles away, is a solitary traveler in the vastness of space. Its radio signals take over 22 hours to reach Earth, a slow-motion conversation across the void. Designed for five years, it's lasted nearly 50, surviving on a dwindling nuclear battery. Engineers have shut down most systems to conserve power. Only the most vital instruments remain. The spacecraft is now a minimalist explorer, listening to the interstellar winds. The sun is just another star, its warmth a distant memory. Voyager is utterly alone, a silent witness to the emptiness between stars. Yet it continues to send data, precious postcards from the edge of everything we know. Its faint signal is captured by giant antennas on Earth, each bit of data a gift. Voyager tells us about the interstellar medium, the galactic magnetic field and cosmic rays. It's a lone voice whispering secrets from the dark, and we're still listening. Soon, Voyager's power will run out, its voice will fade forever. By around 2025, there won't be enough energy to run even a single instrument. The last signals will be precious fragments, final words from our farthest messenger. When the signal is lost, a direct link to the unknown will be severed. But Voyager's journey won't end, it will drift silently through the Milky Way for eons. Its path will take it near another star in 40,000 years, orbiting the galaxy for millions more. Voyager will likely outlast humanity, a silent monument to our curiosity. Its end will be poignant, a goodbye to an old friend on the ultimate journey. We'll be left with its legacy data that transformed our view of the solar system and the golden record, carrying our story into the future. The fading whisper of Voyager marks the end of its mission, but the beginning of its eternal voyage. Voyager's journey forces us to confront the question, are we alone in the universe? It turns speculation into science, revealing worlds with volcanic moons, methane lakes and hidden oceans, places where life might exist. Now, Voyager travels through the medium from which new stars and planets are born. The golden record is an act of optimism, a hope that someone somewhere might find our message. The hum Voyager detected is not a sign of life, but proof that the universe is active and mysterious. The cosmos is stranger than we can imagine, and the idea that we're alone seems less likely than ever. Voyager's true legacy is perspective, it shows us our place in the vastness. We are a pale blue dot, reaching beyond our limits, hoping to connect. Whether we're alone or not, Voyager inspires us to keep exploring and asking the big questions. Its journey is a testament to our curiosity and our hope to find company in the cosmos.